Good evening everyone, I'm Jane at Rockin' Worms. Welcome to my channel. What I'm going to be doing tonight is a grow out bin assessment. I am assessing whether these worms in this bin are ready to go into my new baby bin, Orange Julius, or if they're ready to go into breeder bins, or maybe just uh, you know get some additional attention and get chunkied up so they can be sold, all right? But while I'm doing this assessment, I wanna to talk to you about the concept of worm community, okay? We're here as a worm community. And part of a worm community, I've got some uh, mites here that I'm gonna just pinch out while I've got the opportunity here, these little balls of mites. It's not crazy, but you know, take them out while you got them. And then this little newspaper here, I'm gonna rip that off just the end and that's gonna go out to the garden or I can dry them off and feed them back once they're uh, dried to the worms, but I'm just gonna put them in a bowl. Okay, so we have a worm community here and you guys come here to my channel for information and also I think to connect, right? We have this hobby, we have this interest of worms and let's face it, it's not a, necessarily a mainstream um, area of interest for people, although it is growing in popularity. It's, it's not something that perhaps a lot of our family members or our friends understand what we're doing with these creatures. So, you know, we get excited because something happens, like I'm looking in this bin and I'm going, these worms are teenage worms. And they're getting, they're, they're too big to be babies, but they're not quite, you know, adult age yet. They don't have a lot of clitellums on them. So what I'm going to do with these worms is leave them in this bin and uh, give them some extra feedings and start, again, sizing them up so they'll be ready to sell in the near future. Oh, I got a little piece of plastic here. I want to pull out the plastic when I find it. Okay, it's just from, uh, you know, uh, the windows of uh, envelopes, right? I think I actually dropped it, but that's okay. All right, so we have something exciting happen in our worm bins. Maybe that exciting is positive, like we got our first cocoon, or we came across our first breeding pair as examples. Or maybe it's exciting because it's a little upsetting or we're concerned. Hey, I think my bins are too wet. What do I do about that? Oh, I've got too much castings. And how do I separate out the, the castings from the other worms? How do I do a migration? Um, or, you know, my bin is really dry. What do I do? You know, we're, we have excitement because something isn't happening the way we want it to and we're not sure what to do. So we come here to the worm community on YouTube, my channel specifically, but there's other great channels out there and I do you know, totally encourage you to check them out as well. But you want to share what's going on in your worm life, okay? And again, your friends and family, they're like, go away kid, you bother me. Um, so come here, share. I read all my comments. I'm gonna do a little feeding just a little, because I, I see a lot of um, indication that uh, there's still a little bit of worm chow in here, because I, I fed this bin just, uh, you know, seven days ago. So I'm just going to give them a little top up. Nothing crazy, okay? So you want to share your excitement. You come here. You post on, on any of my videos. You don't have to, you know, post on topic post on any of my videos, I read all my comments. But here's the thing, I'm encouraging and asking you to consider reading comments as well, because maybe somebody has an excitement that you just had and you guys can congratulate each other, or somebody has an issue that you've had experience with or that your concern might be happening in your bins or going to happen in your bins. And you want to perhaps ask them, you know, what tipped them off that there's a problem, okay? Um, so 
what I'm saying is comments on my channel specifically, because that's all I can really, you know, encourage, is they don't have to be all between me and one person. They can be between one castings crew member and another castings crew member. They can be between somebody who's stopping by because they have an issue or a question and they're trying to find answers. Or it can be between a couple people that are like, yeah, I want to talk about worms, but I don't have anybody to talk to. You know, will you talk to me about worms? This is what, you know, the comment section on my channel can be like. This is what I would like my worm community and family to be like. I don't expect, you know, everybody to comment, everybody to have time to read everything, okay? We all have busy lives, but we can support each other and learn from each other when we can. I'm just mixing in the worm chow just a little bit on the top, and I'm going to give this, um, it's, you know, a decent moisture, but again, because I want to chunky these uh, worms up, I, I'm going to give them a little bit more moisture, so they're a little bit more along the line of a breeder bin moisture level, which will hopefully encourage them to eat more and grow more, okay? And look at I got this brand new fun tool. I finally listened again to some of my uh, castings crew people who said, Jane, why are you using that garden pump trigger sprayer when you're doing all these bins? You're killing yourself, girl. You know, invest in a sprayer. So I did. This is just a, a sprayer from Lowe's, you know, that you can buy in the garden area for spraying chemicals or fertilizer or whatever. But guess what? What? It works perfectly good with just plain water. So, oh, beautiful, love it. This is definitely in the category of work smarter, not harder. Learn from each other. I'm learning from other people that are kind enough to post on my comments. I hope you're learning from people that are kind enough to post on my videos. And, you know, again, feel free to have those conversations. I will give you the caveat. You need to be respectful. You need to be supportive. You need to say, hey, you know, congratulations, or I had that problem. You know, this is what I did. And you can fully say, you know, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you because this is what I found, okay? Or this is what I think you need to be aware of, all right? Those are per perfectly good, respectful ways to say, you know, I do it differently. And that's good, because that's good information. All right? So I am done with this uh, bin. I'm just now going to cover it back up. And yes, I didn't tell you that I put worm chow on there. I put azomite on there. I put dolomite agricultural lime on there. I put a sprinkling of vegetable powder on there. And now I'm going to cover it up and uh, get these guys back to working, to eating and pooping, but eating and hopefully increasing their size a little bit more quickly. Here's a breeder right here. You can see the uh, clotellum. I just touched it, so it kind of went away a little bit, but that's the clotellum right there. So this is a breeder. Here's a breeder too, okay? And this is, uh, you know, younger worms, teenage worms. And here's an, another younger one. So this is again, a grow out bin where I have worms of all ages and where I'll go to, um, you know, pick out breeders for my breeder bins and also, uh, you know, again, just raise them up so they're ready um, to sell, okay? So um, yeah, so this bin is ready to go back on the shelf and go to the next stage of its life. And I hope you're ready to get into some of the comments when you can and share what your experiences are, encourage other people, as I'm sure you want to be encouraged and you want to be supported when you have something great happen in your worm biz. Okay, lecture over for the night. I am yours in the dirt, 
Jane.